2011, euphoria in Tahrir Square as President Mubarak finally stepped down. The crowd wanted a new Egypt, freedom of speech, democracy and more control over resources. So where did the revolution go wrong? The army, long seen as the protector of the nation, took control. The Supreme Council of the Armed Forces then set up Egypt's first democratic elections. The Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party emerged victorious. Its supporters were ecstatic after decades in the political wilderness. Then, in June last year, their candidate, Mohamed Morsi, was voted president. He soon clashed with the army over its role in politics. The new president promised Egypt a facelift in a hundred days. The country had deep and long-standing problems, high unemployment, a growing economic crisis and lack of the rule of law. Now, a year later, many Egyptians complain that life has only got worse. And as the summer heats up, patience with the government has run out. Defenders of President Morsi say he's come up against too many old vested interests. But others are furious with the Muslim Brotherhood, burning its headquarters, accusing the party of being self-serving and pushing an overly Islamic agenda. Now, with the president and protesters at loggerheads, the army has once again returned to the centre of Egypt's political stage.